everybody. My name is E-Double. Their name is PJ Harvey. Let's go. Hello everyone, this is CG Novo 92 and today I have a new episode, well I should say the returning episode of the National Squad Builder and that is of course going to be Belgium as you can tell by the title and the name of the squad. Now we're going to start off with the goalkeeper and this guy is an absolute monster lads, he's 6 foot 6 and he just saves absolutely everything. He's absolutely unbelievable, one on ones so you can just uh, basically just rely on him to save everything because he gets down so low and he manages just to save absolutely everything, absolute overall beast, 8 and 9 handling as well, unbelievable, anything that gets shot on we could just catch it perfectly and also because he's huge frame, he's diving uh, in his quick pace, he's absolutely unbelievable, one of the best goalkeepers I've actually used in the game, now the first centre back is going to be the Belgian wall and that is of course going to be company, 74 pace on him, 86 defender and 79 heading, no idea why it says 79 heading because honestly lads he's so dominant in the area, 6 foot 4, and with that pace and that, all that strength, you can actually just seem to win anything in there. He's also got really, really good uh, long diagonal ball as well. We can hit up to the left forward and the right forward. Now, the next centre-back is going to be the Arsenal captain, Vermeulen. 70 pace on him, 83 defending and 85 hitting. He is the main centre-back, as in he sits in the centre and he chops everything away. He's got a great tackle on him. He's really, really devastating in the air, lads. Absolutely just sops everything. Even though he's only 6 foot, he just seems amazing in the air. The next uh, centre back, I cannot see his name at all, lads. I'm not even going to try and butcher it because honestly, I'm worse than Jack Attack at doing the names. <laughs> He'll kill me for saying that. But Vetti, I'm just going to call him. He's unbelievable in this game as well. Really good, really strong defender. He's not as good as his team of year, of course, last year, but as he's just first card, I'm sure he'll get a few informs uh, in the future. Now, the left midfield player is going to be Mertens, and that's 87 pace on him, 81 shooting. Really, really good. Four star skill moves and four star weak foot. Decent. Uh, he's only like 16, 17k, depending on the, what position and formation you want. He is good for what he is, he's a lot of uh, attacking and this is what uh, Dembele really does well. The next player of course is going to be in midfield, Dembele. 84 pace, uh, 74 to heading and 86 dribbling. But his main stat is he's uh, just an overall ability, whether he's attacking or defending lads. He's also slots in because Mertens really, really goes forward. He's got low uh, defensive work rate in the left winger. So Dembele actually works as a left midfield player, a sort of left wing back I would say. He just sits back, he can also attack, but he also defends well as well. Speaking of someone else that defends brilliantly, and that's actually going to be Fellini, this informed Fellini, of course. 73 pace, 82 defend, 85 head, and this man is unbelievable. He's an absolute beast, 6 foot 4. He just hangs back beside company for Mellon and Vetti and just defends everything. He's devastating in there, especially from corners. If you whip in a ball, he's just going to win it, and you're going to score a goal, no problem. The way he works is he slots back to a right wing back as well. And the right midfield player is someone really critical to, I think, the whole shape of this squad. And that's going to be Gillette. As you can see, he's got really, really nice stats. Nothing too stand up. He's just uh, kind of... He's the unsung hero of the squad, I'd say. He never gets in the scoreline, never does nothing uh, special, but what he does is break up the play. He sits in midfield when Dembele's getting pushed back to the left wing back position and Fer uh, Fellaini's getting pushed back in the right wing. He sits in the centre and he can just create. He's absolutely amazing and links up perfectly with Lega. Someone I loved last year and I tried to get everyone I knew to have a try at this guy. And I think some of these guys did and you did not regret it. He's unbelievable. Even though he has took a kind of lower uh, pace rating than he was last year, he's still really, really quick. He's also good aggression on the ball as well. can manage to hold on certain defenders. Only 69 shooting, although it is a funny number. <laughs> uh, uh, the 69 shooting is a bit of a lie. He's got an absolute amazing right shot, a uh, right foot. Um, the left forward, of course, is going to be Hazard. You couldn't have a Belgian side without the young maestro. He's only 21 years old, and he's already got an 87 card. Unbelievable. 90 pace on him, 78 shooting, 83 pass, and 90 dribbling. 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, no idea why he hasn't got 5 star weak foot, but he is on a left forward on the right side so he can cut inside and do those crazy long shots. The only thing I would say that slightly takes away Hazard's sexiness and awesomeness is he's a bit weak and he just seems to get shoved off the ball a lot easier than Lega did, which is kind of disappointing, but I suppose they're trying to make it balanced so I can kind of understand why. My striker is going to be Morales. Unbelievable in this game, he's got such a boost, 88 pace, 75 shooting, and 85 dribbling, even though it does say 66 heading, that's a complete lie, you can just whip anything into this un, uh, unstoppable beast in the air, and he just slots it away perfectly with his head, and got a great long shot, he's got good left foot as well, after, yeah, I thought that, 4 weak star, uh, 4 uh, weak foot, and only 3 star skill moves, but you don't really complain about that, you've got uh, Hazard and etc to do those skill moves, so yeah lads, this squad is unbelievable, and if you are new to my channel, because I know a national squad where gets a lot of uh, views, and people that isn't always subscribers, if you just stay to the end, do not comment asking how much of the squad, or is he worth it, just stay at the end and you'll see a little quick review right now, 
Price 285k. The best players got to be Hazard and Lega, the left forward and the right forward. Honourable mentions got to be Company and Dembele, but honestly, lads, you could probably just list the whole squad as honourable mentions. Really, really strong. The worst player, I don't really have one in the squad, so I'm going to put say not available because there is none. Uh, the pros are definitely the quick counter attacks. Unbelievable, unbelievably quick, I should say. Cons can get exposed sometimes at the back just because of pace, someone's pace abuse, but you just sit on 5 3 2, like I said last year, and you sit uh, left, uh, Dembele at left wing back and Fellini uh, right wing back. Really, really strong. So hopefully you did enjoy this video, lads, and it is the return of the series. I'd be great if you could leave a like and a comment down below. I've been CJ Novo 92. Thank you for watching.